Hello everyone, this is Ari from Tech with King and I'm back with another new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Kali Linux in your Android phone using Limbo PC Emulator. So without any wasting of time, so let's get started. First of all, you have to download an, an application called Limbo. Limbo is an application that you can run any Windows or any Linux iOS software in your Android using this Limbo. Limbo is a PC emulator. So the next thing you have to download uh, OS file. So this is the iOS file of Kali Linux. Uh, let me show you the properties of this file. So as you can see, it is a prox 97 917.03 MB, a prox 1 GB. So you have to download this uh, Kali Linux iOS file. The link in the description you can check out there and download from there you may get some ads but you have to manage that so you have to download that and this is the application the application link is also in the description you can check out there and download from there so let's start the procedure first of all you have to open the limbo application so here is the limbo application you have to click to none then click to new then create a new machine name is at Kali Linux so I have created name as a Kali Linux so let me show you the full procedure and the settings of the limbo how you have to do that so select the architecture as a x86 machine type PC CPU model make it Cordio CPU cores maximum 4 and RAM memory in the RAM you have to be very careful because the limbo emulator is going to use your phone RAM if your RAM is left much enough left to approx 1 GB or 1.5 then you have to select about uh, 720 if your ram is a uh, 2 gb or above 2 gb left in your phone so you have you can select the 1 gb or more so i am going to select the 720 don't do anything in the storage and removal storage you have to select the cd rom then click to none then open then select that kali linux dot iso file that we have downloaded from the link in the description so i have selected the kali linux.iso file vga std put from select cd rom and infrastructure sdl make it full screen and high priority priority click to high priority so this is the all the settings you have to do in your limbo application let me just uh, turn on the rotation and turn the screen so I've turned the screen now I am going to start the procedure I just click to play button so as you can see Kali Linux has been started here so just click to back then select here keyboard button then click to enter this means enter so this click select this and as you can see the Kali Linux is started booting you have to select the first option that I have shown in, in this. It maybe takes some time, approx up to 15 to 20 minutes, or maybe more, depend on your phone specifications. So let me just uh, speed up this video and come back after Kali Linux is fully loaded in our Android phone.
as you can see in the screen after the long time commands it will show Kali login so you have to click to just back button and click to keyboard and you can type anything for example I have clicked Kali and enter you have to just type any name or you can type anything it's uh, asked for two to three times then here you have to wait some time approx uh, 10 minutes then the Kali Linux will start it. So as you can see in the screen the Kali Linux has been loaded in our Android phone and it's take up to approx 33 minutes to load and it's still loading as you can see in the screen I can't operate this so let me leave it up and come back after the Kali Linux is fully loaded and the mouse pad is started working. So as you can see in the screen the mouse pad is started working here so if you want to start the mouse pad just click to back button then click this mouse button so the mouse pad is started working now just click to use default configuration it may it may take some time to load and it's still loading as you can see I've clicked the use default configuration and it's still loading so here is the Kali Linux fully loaded in our Android phone as you can see all the things have been loaded here the down shortcut keys bar the up the star taskbar and the time all the things has been fully loaded I try to cover up all the things in this video already the video length has been take lot of time so let me just cover up all the things and show you the all the things in the shortcut so please manage this first of all I am going to open the calculator in this Linux Kali Linux is the lightest to OS so it uh, not not take a lot of time like Windows it's uh, full after it's uh, open easily and it's open the application faster faster than the windows so but at the first attempt it take time to open all the things as you can see here is the calendar of the Kali Linux I try to cover up all the things in this video now let me just open the internet As you can see there is a loading on the mouse so this is the different from the windows but it it is the lightest OS that you can run easily in the Android lot of subscribers ask me to show the lightest OS that we can freely run in the Android so this is the Kali Linux in my future videos I show more OS lightest OS that we can easily run and fastest OS that we can run in the Android so subscribe to my channel for the future videos It may, it may take some time for the first attempt 
still the browser is loading so let me just open the file manager it's been name here file system select for the you can use this mouse and double tap for the select I have already told that the it may take some time for the first attempt calendar is the smallest thing that it's uh, not take them time it's open smoothly faster than others the other things is uh, bigger applications for example the internet and the file system it takes some time to open I try to cover up all the things in this video it's still loading and the, this is the volume buttons volume buttons are for the this is for the right right click this is the left click as be seen in the mouse this is the right click for the select and the volume down button is for the more option means right click and this is the left click for the select and here is the all the applications of the Kali Linux for example Terminex file manager web browser mail reader accessories internet multimedia office system this all the things are work perfectly in android but it depends on your phone specifications you need high configuration mobile phone to run all these applications in your android in this phone the ram have 4 gb ram and the snapdragon processor but it's as you can see but it's still loading and slow processing so you need a high configuration phone for example uh, 6 gb ram or snapdragon 600 680 above phone so that you can run easily any application this all the application work perfectly if your phone configuration is high So as you can see in the screen, this is the file manager of the Kali Linux I have opened. So I have shown you the calendar, the ES file has been opening in the Kali Linux. All the application will work, it depends upon your phone specifications. So here is the internet browser of the Kali Linux as you can see in the screen. This is the browser and this is the file manager and I have already shown the calendar so all the application will go perfectly opening and working in this kali linux so you don't worry about this as you can see in the browser the kali linux website has been opened in this browser the internet connection all is also connected with this browser you can also access the internet connection in this kali linux ios and the file manager is also working and the calendar and the timing everything every application is perfectly working in this linux you can try this in your android phone so that's it for this video this video have been taken a lot of time so let me just finish this video so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have any question or problem let me know in the comments if you're getting any problem while running this kali linux in your android tell me in the comments i try to fix that problem and if you are trying this in your android let me know in the comments which android phone you're using and which settings in the limbo you have done in doing that the app all the application will work in your android phone so thank you